stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Anyone for public forum? Yeah. All right. Seeing no public forum, we'll move into the minutes. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from April 30th, 2018? So moved. There's been a motion and a second. Any discussion on the minutes from our last meeting? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes from our last meeting, please signify by stating aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Okay. 3.1. RC number 139-1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred as resolution number 94-1819 by older persons Ryan Flesh and Boren establishing the 2019 budget appropriations for the tax levy for the, for the use of the calendar year. Recommends passing the resolution with amendments. Who wants to take this one? Daryl, you want to talk on this? I will. Uh, 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3 are reflective of the deliberations that occurred uh, the week of September 11th, the 11th, 13th, uh, 12th, and 13th. Uh, this is following uh, my presentation to the Common Council on the prior Monday, September 4th. As a result of the uh, discussion and deliberation by the three uh, standing committees, uh, only one uh, recommendation is before you for an amendment. Uh, purple pages, I think, were included in your packet. Um, specifically, the recommendation from Finance and Personnel Committee is to amend the Special Revenue Fund cable TV for the addition of an $80,000 uh, fiber uh, cable uh, project. Uh, this uh, should you, should you support this project, uh, the funding source for this will be cash on hand that is located uh, or accounted for in this specific cable TV fund. Uh, the fund balance, uh, instead of uh, an ending year fund balance of $533,451, the revised, the revised fund balance uh, at the close of 2019 will be Four hundred and fifty three thousand four fifty one. Are there any questions for Daryl? Alder person Ryan Fleisch. Ryan Fleisch. Ryan Fleisch. <laughs> uh, Finance Committee discussed this at, at length and decided that it was worth for the purposes of telecasting our council meetings and for other purposes to have the fiber optic uh, put in back into the budgets. For so we could increase the visibility and the sound of our current programming that is done. We're going to be spending considerably more than that on new audiovisual equipment in the new city halls, part of the city hall plans. And we thought bulking up that and then sending it down a thinner tube basically didn't make much sense. So we decided that we should put back into the budget the, the uh, fiber optic. Any more questions? Older person Donahue. And I don't know if this is in order. Um, Daryl, so I look, I'm looking on page eight of the executive summary, or the budget in brief, um, and just talking about our net debt outstanding. Um, and as everyone has noted, there's a substantial jump from 24 million to 41. Um, and we have. Uh, consciously and I think thoughtfully decided that we needed to increase our debt in order to make needed road repairs in particular, um, that that had not been uh, really attended to in the past. And I know that we have quite a jump this year which will not be replicated because of City Hall. Do you have a, but my question, given all of that, is do you have a sense of where that figure is gonna take us, that net debt? Um, say in 2020, 21, um, where let's call it 30% of capacity, we can go up to 67, none of us wants to do that, I think it's fair to say. Um, 
just based on your view of the future, can you give us kind of an idea of where you, where you think we should be going, or will be? Is your question linking the specific recommendation of a finance and personnel committee with, with the issue of debt? Well, I mean, as I understand it, all of these resolutions are pretty much the same. And what we're trying to get to is a common council, is a committee of the whole recommendation to the common council to pass the budget as proposed with the addition, as Ron Alderman Fleisch pointed out, the additional 80 some thousand for cable. I have a, it's, my question is a more global question about the budget itself, and I, I, I think it's proper because all of these resolutions are basically the same. And, I mean, have we kind of caught up, I guess is what I'm saying? We were on, I think, what could be called a starvation diet for quite a while in terms of really paying down a, a, a debt level uh, that had, you know, gotten, it was still, completely appropriate, but it had gotten higher, and there was a decision by, before your time to, to reduce that debt level way down, and as a result, we weren't getting roads repaired and things like that. So my question is, our net debt outstanding in 2019 is gonna be about 41.5 million, or just under 30% of our capacity. And that's on page eight of this nice budget in Yes. Summary which I like very much, thank you, by the way. <laughs> it was very thank helpful you, Kiri. to me. Um, and just in, do you see us staying, let me rephrase, do you see us staying the same? Do you see us spending, I mean, like for example, our capital improvements budget is going down. Where do you think we're heading? Does that make sense? It, it does. Um, based upon uh, discussion, uh, in prior years, as well as a discussion associated with this past uh, five-year cap improvement plan that was approved, uh, the target is for the city to come in at or under $5 million a year in general obligations debt. And the, the expectation is that that will be manageable for the city in light of the amount of debt service that the city is annually defeasing or, or paying down. Um, in addition to uh, that five million, at, time, at times there are additional monies needed to be borrowed, but the source is not property taxes, it is TIF districts, uh, user fees, uh, non-property tax revenue uh, as a source. Uh, my recollection is that uh, there is a couple more years where um, the city's debt will uh, add to that roughly 30%. And as you correctly identified, the current city's debt uh, management policy is not to exceed 60% of the state state allowed uh, debt issuance based upon a, a per cap um, a, a valuation. Uh, so 41 million, uh, unfor unfortunately, uh, that will not, we will not peak at that amount. We will, we will exceed that in the next couple of years. Thank you. Any other questions or discussion? Seeing none, is there a motion to refer this to the Common Council? So we'll move. There's been a motion. Is there a second? second. And then there's a second. Um, any more discussion on this? Daryl? Uh, as a reminder, uh, two weeks from tonight will be a public hearing uh, on the 2019 budget. Uh, with. Uh, as you can see later on your agenda with the possibility of a committee of the whole, uh, depending upon the input uh, or comment that you receive, whether the Common Council wants to uh, go into a significant discussion or, or simply reaffirm uh, your support for the budget as presented. Thank you. Any more questions? Seeing none, we'll go into a vote. Um, do we want to do a roll call vote or does it have to be a voice vote? Okay, we'll do a voice vote. <laughs> um, all those in favor of approving the motion, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Any abstentions? Chair votes aye. That's approved and we refer to the Common Council. Next is 3.2. 
Resolution number 140, 18, 19, by the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee, to whom was referred a copy of Resolution number 94, 18, 19, by Elder Persons Renflesh and Bore, and establishing the 2019 budget appropriations for the 2018 tax levy for the use during the calendar year. Daryl? Uh, at, at the uh, licensing hearings and public safety committee, uh, uh, thorough discussion of those respective uh, budgets uh, occurred, and there was no request for any uh, budget amendment. Any questions from committee members? I move to refer this uh, resolution to uh, uh, Common Council. There's Sorry. been a motion to refer to the Common Council, and there's been a second. Any more thoughts, discussion, or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Any abstentions? Chair votes aye. That one is approved. Okay, 3.3, .3, resolution number 141, 1819, by the Public Works Committee, to whom was referred a copy of re resolution number 94, 1819, by Elder Persons Rindfleisch and Boren, establishing the 2019 budget appropriations and the 2018 tax levy for the use during the calendar year. Daryl? Also, as part of their discussion, um, Public Works Committee uh, thoroughly uh, reviewed uh, the documents that were uh, presented to them. Subsequent to that discussion, uh, no requests for a budget amendment occurred. Okay. Any questions from committee members? Motion to approve. There's been a motion to approve. Second. And then there's been a second. Any more discussion from anyone? Uh, Ron? I just want to say I was on two of the three committees here that reviewed the budgets. It's going fairly quickly here, but I want the public to understand we spent hours going through the budgets at the committee level, looking at each of the individual light items. So uh, I think our administration did a good job in putting it together, but we had a lot of questions and we had a lot of answers at the committee level. Mm -hmm. Daryl? Maybe just to uh, provide uh, anyone that may be uh, watching or viewing this uh, meeting tonight, uh, the total expenses uh, before the Common Council for the 2019 budget is $127,737,927 plus the 80000 for that cable uh, fiber uh, project. Uh, this is a $5.9 million increase, 4.9%. Uh, the total tax levy, uh, the recommendation is to increase it by $446,010. This is a 1.91% increase. The uh, equivalent assessed tax rate change, uh, although the uh, Common Council does not approve a tax rate, the Common Council approves a tax levy, but the equivalent assessed tax rate change is going from $9.74 to $9.94, or slightly under 20 cent per thousand assessed valuation increase. Okay. Any more comments, questions? Motion to approve. Oh, there's already been a motion. Sorry. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> okay. We just can't hide it. <laughs> okay, seeing no more uh, discussion on 3.3, .3. all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone against? Please state nay. Any abstentions? Chair votes aye. Okay. That will exhaust our, our agenda. Um, our next meeting may be on October 15th, depending on uh, discu uh, discussion and a hearing from our next council meeting. Um, and I'd just like to echo a few words, too. Uh, thank you to all the department heads um, and the city administrator um, for putting their budgets together. Uh, we did have long discussions in committee meetings, and I appreciate everyone's hard work. With that, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. There's second. been a motion and a second. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? We're adjourned at 7.30. Thank you.